Hey everybody, we're going to be doing a tutorial today on drawing faces. This video is going to be a help with drawing faces just in general. I'm going to give you some techniques to make the features of the face be more realistic and it's going to be kind of adaptable to your skill level. You can make these faces more cartoony if you want or you can make them more realistic. But this is sort of like the building blocks of making a face that's proportioned correctly. To begin, we're going to draw an egg shape for the head. You'll notice I've already done this and I've divided the head in half from top to bottom. About halfway down from top to bottom, I'm going to put a line that goes horizontally. And this is going to help me place the eyes in the proper place on the head. The placement for the nose is halfway between this line and the chin. So I'm going to find that halfway mark and make a little mark with my pencil to know that that's about where the bottom of the nose should go. And then the mouth goes about halfway between the nose and the chin. So there's where the mouth is going to end up. To help put the eyes in the right place from side to side, I'm measuring about halfway between my midline and the side of the head. And this vertical line is going to show me about where the eyes will be. Of course, all of this changes if the head is not directly facing you, but we're going to start with a picture of a person who's just facing straight forward. I'm just going to put a rough sketch of some eyes in the place where I have measured them out to be. I'll show you in a moment how to make the eyes more realistic, but for now these will do. The middle of the eye is lined up where those two lines are intersecting. To help you get the size of the eyes right and the spacing right, imagine that you have the width of one eye and see if you could fit that same amount of space between the two eyes. That is gonna be about right. So if there's enough room for one eye of the same size between the two eyes, your eyes are probably the right size and spaced apart the right way. Now this line I have here for the nose is really for the bottom of the nose right about where the nostrils are and the bottom of that round part of your nose, the part that sticks out the farthest. I'm just doing a rough sketch and later on I'll show you in more detail how to make a realistic nose. Now I've added a mouth right on the line that I set and measured for the mouth. And I'm also gonna add a little shadow where the bottom lip is. You'll see I'm also gonna add other details like the eyebrows, they're about the same width as the eye, maybe a little longer. And the ears go about from the line where the eye is to where the nose is. You're not going to see much of the ear from this viewpoint. When the person is looking straight at you, you really just see a tiny bit of the ear or maybe not any of the ear at all if the person's hair is covering that up. The hairline is going to be different for everybody. So you just want to observe how you want the hairline to go and sort of sketch in the edges of that, which you're probably going to change and soften just because it's hair and it's probably not got an exact line. At this point, I like to change the shape of the jawline and kind of straighten things up, clean it up a little bit, add a little more angles because that egg shape from the beginning isn't exactly how I want it to be. Obviously, as you go on with your drawing, you're going to need to erase these guidelines. I would recommend doing them very, very lightly so that you don't have such a hard time erasing them. And you eventually won't have to draw these guidelines every single time. I just wanted to show you them so that you can help space out the parts of the face and get the proportions more accurate. Once you've drawn all the features, you can just keep on straightening up edges. You can darken up places that you know need to be darker, especially the eyes. For me, it really helps once you fill the eyes in and make them darker. It helps the face look more real. Um, here I added a little white area that helps show that the eyes are shiny. It's called a highlight. Um, again, these are really simplified eyes, and I'm going to show you how to make more detailed ones later. I'm about ready to work on adding the hair. I'm going to soften that line where the hair begins using sketchy lines. I'm also going to extend the hair past that line that was the scalp line because hair adds some body and volume. It, it's not right up against your scalp. You can change the type of line you use as you're drawing the hair to communicate different textures of hair, whether it's straight or wavy or curly. And here I'm just adding a little shading to darken the hair. Now we're ready to add the neck and shoulders. Be careful not to make the neck too skinny or too wide. We're going to stop right there for now. See my other videos for details on how to draw features like the eyes, nose, and mouth. Thanks for watching.